Hello, I'm Bryce Heventhal, and I'm a certified application engineer from Go Engineer. In today's quick tips video, we're going to show you how to create new symbols within SolidWorks Electrical. So we'll start off by opening SolidWorks Electrical and going to the Library tab and opening up our Symbols Manager. So before I hit New, I want to pick which classification of symbol I want to select because once I hit New, it automatically throws the classification right in there. So when we go ahead and search for our symbols, it's actually using the description field. So I'll go ahead and type in my uh, um, flow actuated switch, and I'll throw the normally open flow actuated switch in there. And uh, here's the symbol name, but that doesn't really matter too much unless you search for it. Um, but I'll go ahead. You can go ahead and pick your manufacturer or your part number if you always want a certain manufacturer and part number used for the symbol. But I'll go ahead and leave that blank. And I'll go ahead and pick my library and symbol type. So multi wire symbol and what I could do is display my connection points and if you don't want it to flip vertical you could go ahead and check that last checkbox as well so you gotta find that symbol and open it and I'm gonna go ahead and drag the origin in the middle and I'm gonna go ahead and check my snap and ortho settings and we saw my snap settings was at 10 so we'll go ahead and grab one of our drawing tools the line and I'll just draw out one click so it's 10 units and we'll zoom in so I could see a little bit better and now I'm going to go ahead and change my snap to about 0.5. So we'll grab the line again and draw out the rest of my symbol here. And if you want to go ahead and stop drawing lines, all you have to do is right click. And you'll see now that I'm locked on because of ortho mode, I only could go orthogonally in the X and Y. But now I'll go ahead and just click the ortho and turn that off. And now we could go at an angle if we wish to do so. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Again, right click to stop drawing lines. And I'll close off this section here. But here I don't want this upper section right there. So what I'll do is use our trim tool. So I'll go ahead and select our cutting tool, which will be that line. Hit the green check mark. And tell which part of the segment I want to cut, which will be that side. And it disappears. So now we'll go to the edit symbol tab and add our connection points. So I'll throw in one circuit type here and pick what type of circuit and what type of um, termination years. I'm going to go ahead and hit disconnectable because I want on both sides to be a different equal potential. And you'll see it gives me one of these clubs and you can rotate this club by right clicking. This is our connection point. I just call it a club. And we'll go ahead and place two of those guys. And there we go. So now I'll go ahead and throw some attributes on this. So we'll go up to our attributes insertion and here we have a lengthy list of certain attributes within SOLIDWORKS Electrical that you could go ahead and select but I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a couple of them the manufacturer the manufacturer part and the symbol mark and once I go ahead and hit OK it throws all of those so I can go ahead and throw them anywhere on this symbol um, so where I place them that's where it's gonna place it on the schematic relative to this symbol and now we'll go ahead and hit the save button and now this symbol is saved into my library so if we go ahead and go back to symbols manager you can now see that the image is updated with that normally open flow actuated switch all right so we'll just go ahead and try to using that symbol real quickly so i just have a wire and i'll go ahead and browse for that symbol the normally open flow actuated sensor and i'll just drop it on there you see it adds that mark and I get it, go ahead and hit OK, and you'll notice it tr crosses the wire there, and there we go. So thank you for watching that quick tips video from Go Engineer. Until next time, have a good day.